How's it going everyone? Welcome back to one of my legendary crafting videos. Today we are focusing on auto axes. I'm going to be rolling 23 auto axes. I actually just uh, rolled 23 chainsaws. Uh, auto axes are non-tradable so these are particularly a little bit more for what I'm looking for, uh, how I play my own play style, game style and all that. Uh, I prefer vampires, anti-armor, things like that for at least the survivability or something like ripping through armor for some larger targets. I am rolling 23 today. Hopefully this will be enough for me to get what I need, a good combo. I actually have a Vampire's Auto Axe uh, with limb damage and agility that's been working very well for a while now. Uh, if I could swap out the agility for something else that might help me do a little bit more DPS, that'll be my goal for today. But let's get to the rolls, let's see what we wind up getting. Alright, so 23 auto axes, let's see what we can get. I'll be stopping on the auto axes that I'll personally be using, testing out, and sciencing out. Fingers crossed, let's see what we get. No thank you, Nocturnal. Juggernauts with strength, interesting. If I go high health, maybe, maybe. No thank you on the mutants. I do like the limb damage, I'll mention that. So if I find something again with the limb damage, that's actually gonna look pretty good. Power attack, strength, those kind of combinations. I'll have to test out this executioners I just rolled, but it's not a longer term kind of weapon. I prefer the vampires combo. So I'll be a little bit more biased than what I'm looking for. Another Juggernauts combo, okay. Vampires. So now this one's interesting. I never got to find out if the damage taken while power attacking means when you attack with an auto axe or a chainsaw, considering I'm pretty sure it counts as a power attack, but I don't actually know if that makes you take less damage. Uh, vampires and doing even more damage while not moving. I like that combination if I can get it to work, if I can hold my ground and then just get a little extra. But something tells me this isn't the combo that I wanted on my vampires. We won't know until we test it out. Get as far away from that berserker as possible. Oh my. Pretend like that didn't just happen twice in a row. Instigating limb damage strength. I'm curious to see if I was to use vats with the auto axe and then basically get multiple hits on a target. Would it all count as the first shot for a few in a row? That extra limb damage boosting it, that extra strength boosting it? Might have to find out, might have to test it out. Anything that can either get me some AP back, reduce the AP costs, I think would be very useful. Exactly like this. If I can get it on vampires or anti-armor instead of aristocrats, the replenish AP, the reduced costs, I think would be actually pretty good. A bloodied crit damage and strength one. I have been testing out using vats. For the longest time I didn't think you would want to use vats in any of these kind of weapons, but uh, just having a little bit of fun with it. So that crit damage might actually do pretty good. Speaking of crit damage, I think I should just call out what I'm looking for before I hit the button. This is actually a pretty nice roll again if the crit damage does stack up nicely. I don't want agility though, I'd rather have a better third roll, even though that's going to directly impact the AP bar. Instigating, no thank you. Alright, so there's still a few left. A bunch of auto axes rolled already. We'll call this the home stretch. See if I can get a good vampires, a good anti armor, even a good bloody. The power attack combo, I like that. Still not sure if that's going to help me survive a little bit better, but I like seeing the power attack, power attack combo. Weapon speed I have not been getting. Out of all the different weapons I feel like I've been rolling recently between these and chainsaws, 
feel like weapon speed is definitely a harder one to roll. This actually seems pretty good for a high health build. Um, I personally don't rep high health. I'll have to test that out though and see if I'll have a different approach to my build because of it. So now we're on to the last three. Hopefully walking away with something good. Definitely a few conversation starters. But whatever shiny object I'm looking for didn't catch my eye just yet. Another mutant slayers. The limb damage agility I feel like is a very common combination. Our last one, hopefully not least. Something like 92 modules later. Let's see. Anti-armor, power attack, strength. I think my 23rd roll was the luckiest roll. I'm definitely going to be testing this one out this week. I've been using vampires, so that's been ensuring that I survive when I'm taking more damage. Uh, I don't see myself fully utilizing this uh, during like an encrypted. During encrypted, I like to use my vampires uh, auto axe. It keeps me alive. This, I don't know. Have to test it out on a queen, have to test it out on a couple of higher health targets. But I'm pretty happy with this. 23 auto X rolls later. Again, unfortunately, this is not a tradable weapon, so a lot of these will be fed right into the script machine. I'll turn that into some more modules, and that'll be put right back into some more future legendary crafting rolls. I do hope you found this video informative. There's a lot of different roles that actually seem very close uh, to one another. There's definitely a few that I'm interested in checking out. I will be checking now at least a couple of these uh, for the next upcoming, let's say, few weeks. Try to see what I can do. Considering I've been using my Vampires one for a while now, what I'll do is maybe this week focus on using the bloody one that I saw that I liked then maybe next week use a different one. At least this way I have a good amount of days so I can kind of tell the difference between survivability, uh, DPS, utility, however you want to categorize the different auto axes. So definitely some sciencing out we have to do with the community. But if you are interested in finding out more what we got going on, definitely come through to the Twitch stream, the Twitch adventures throughout the week. The links and all that goodness will be in the description. If you are newer to these sets of videos, if you're interested in finding out more about legendary crafting, different weapons, gear, especially as we have upcoming content, maybe some new weapons to roll, patch notes to go over, scoreboards to claim, and more, definitely consider subscribing to the channel, keeping out for more goodies. And again, thank you to the YouTube community, the Twitch community, the Patreon community, and everybody supporting the goodies that we got going on here. I will catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, take it easy everybody.